bam, 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 down. We've got starvation, insufficient resources, critical resources low. We've been boarded a few times. We are currently under attack by the S S CS Arc Acadia and the CS Counterpoint Crisis. Welcome back to uh, dim this light a little bit. Welcome back to solid content and welcome back to Space Haven. <clears throat> uh, who's coming to me now? Where in are you coming are you coming here? No, you're going to do some defensive Okay, hang on. We got a situation brewing though. We definitely have a situation brewing. Our team is having a bad time. Black Widow, for some reason. Dolce, what's your deal? Oh, you're coming back. Okay, that's fine. Team two, what are you guys up to? Va okay, uh Ayumi and Vampy. Let's get let's grab Vampy. And Ayumi. Ayumi. Ayumi and Vampy. Da, 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 da. Okay, here we go. Draft and bring them over there for security. Um, in the previous episode, we attempted to... Gary the Fish, we need you. We attempted... To, or we didn't attempt to. We had these folks land right in our laps. And so, and thusly have we... Do we declare war on these guys? No, these are civilians. We've already declared war on them. So we are about to grow. And I've, just, I've, I've figured out kind of cultishly... Like what we should call this thing, and, and it's the, it's the, it's the grand conversion. I think that's what Roxanne wants to do. She wants to have a grand conversion, wherein we have these folks uh, join us by hook or by crook. So you can be recruited for us. Cool. Good spot for Quarren to get to. Vampy gives up, but so does Quarren. Quarren's not gonna survive, but a, a very brave and bold uh, a thing to do. Will we be able to get... Uh, what? Who is this person? Can't even see them, and they've given up. They gave up quick, which we prefer. Uh, Gary, to make to ensure that this person gives up, I want you to just make sure to show that we mean business. Thank you. There we are. I'll go and speak to them. Um, I believe that they are now... Uh, although, do we want all this for one person? We should probably start doing that at some point, but I kind of feel like the whole vibe of this cleansification uh, run is going to be that we are pretty nasty. Uh, and that we go through and we just are trying to... We're, it's, okay, sorry, it's not cleansification. We're trying to convert everybody to join us on our city ship. They use the prisoner's area. Yes, 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 of course. We have a lot of prisoners now, so this is good. This is going to be something that we can all kind of look through and sort out. We need to get some more collars ready to go. Uh, and some more resources so we can build our circle. There is still some debate as to whether or not we put the prison here. I still kind of feel like putting the prison here. I feel like this is too auspicious, and I would like to have a large throne room. Hello, Hein. Emma says, I am not 100, although my birthday is on the 8th of April. Well, can freaking grats. So now these ships have not been touched. They've not been shot upon. They have not been touched upon. They are basically just sitting there, uh, ready for us to board, most likely. Now, I just want to take a look. Hull blocks are really cheap here, so I'm literally going to buy probably a 20 stack. So let's remember we've just spent 1,000 doubloons. We're going to spend another... Uh, wait, the Mgskburian... This thing. We're going to get another... Uh, oh, where'd all the hull blocks go? Boo, they stopped selling them for a sale. All right, so that's fine. So we're going to get... Let's get a couple of tech blocks, maybe. We're spending a lot of money right now, but that's because, you know, Emma's not paying attention. So I think we can just do this before Emma catches wise and goes, Hey! You're wasting your money! Okay, we don't need any of that. Maybe augmentation parts could be good. IV fluid. Let's get some medical supplies because they're not, like, super expensive. So that's $2,000. So I need to make three k uh, to not lose uh, so much money. I've been told that one of the enemy ships is already derelict, which is great. We don't even need to worry about going over there. I mean, we'll go over there, but I'm saying we don't need to, uh, uh, you know, be that careful, I guess, once we go over there. Okay, so if I can make 1,000 doubloons back, let's sell off some of the... Uh, they don't even want that many. Maybe some plastic. I don't want to sell... Those. Fiber is, is very cheap to make, arguably. There we go. So now we have... Got uh, 15 more hull blocks, so that's going to help us with our, our thing. It's not my credit solid. I don't care if you lose money. <laughs> They're both... Oh, they attacked? 
The civilians attacked with everything they had. That was very brave of them. And now it's up to us to convert them. Let's take Nihal and Roxani. Uh, do I have two? I have two now, don't I? Two shuttles. Yes. Okay, great. Okay. Draft. Dock right here. And there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go... Uh, Valis and Roxani. So Roxani, uh, there. Oh, this, this thing. I need to like have her at, at the top for some reason. Okay, Roxani and uh, Valis. Where are you? There we are. Draft you and get you onto that one, please. Roxani onto this one, because again, narratively, there are no booby traps, so we don't have to be worried. I thought this was going to be a more exciting episode in terms of boarding, uh, but unfortunately, it was just. One or two quick attacks here, and the cliffhanger I left us on in the last episode, uh, the last episode is now over. <sighs> How evil is Solid now? Asks Greg Wenzel. Is he pulling tags off mattresses? Wait, oh, okay. I might have to like. Oh, I showed you in the last episode. I have my Mr. Mr. Mattress shirt on. Mr. Mattress is a uh, mattress. Oh, just immediately we also see the. Oh, oh. Okay, let's go there and deal with that. We immediately just get the whole derelict. That's wild that we get to scan it immediately. I think we should be able to take these on ourselves. If they spawn haulers, that's going to be spicy. Okay, shoot that thing. Wow, okay, well, that was, that's that. Interesting. So they were already in a fair amount of distress. Kind of. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That one spored. There's another one here, too. Stay far away. They spore. I forgot. Shoot it. Aim and shoot it. This should be okay. How far does it disseminate? That's the real question. Evolving alien core remains. Okay, good. I don't, I don't remember if Roxani got spored or not. I didn't see it spore. Oh, cool. What is this? Is that the new body storage? Is that the look of it from behind? That thing has been updated and it looks cool. All right. I, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. All right. Undraft. Pretty sure we have it all. So undraft. Undraft. Let's take a look at our haul. Oh, heavens. What a haul. We all know you aborted the ships offline and killed the crew after seven saves comes <laughs> and then resumed the video. It spawned on Roxy upon death. It spawned on Roxy upon death? I don't know. Hopefully we're okay. Okay, this is a this is a great haul. This is a good haul. Even our people will eat okay for a day or two. I'll take that. And then what do you got for me? A lot of energy blocks. We love to see a lot of energy blocks. Steel plates, energy cells. Yeah, this is just a great haul. And then, of course, we have to start uh, ripping it apart. So to grab a hold of and hold a hold of our booty, we do have enough storage. But we're going to need, yeah, people on logistics at all times. Then we're going to need to get into the item fabricator. Where did I put that thing after I moved it? It's up here somewhere, isn't it? There it is. Uh, we need to get some collars going on. What does that cost us? Ah, yes, of course. This is the issue. Uh, we don't have fabric. We have fabric uh, soft blocks. Does the military alliance... Like, does anybody sell... Oh, wait. Did I... Am I trading with the wrong people? Is that why I bought overly expensive... Oh, of course it is. Oh, I'm an idiot. I knew I traded with the wrong people. 1,200 doubloons. Let's go. Let's sell you two of these. Let's sell you some of uh, this. They don't want any more. We'll see. Some energy, and we have almost too much energy. I would say. There we go. I can't believe I traded with the wrong thing, and I bought their hull. But that's okay. We're gonna get a lot of building done today. Three. Couple of days. Have you guys ever seen? Never mind. I was about to say. Have you ever seen anybody sell fabric? And there we are. We are selling fabric. I'll take a bit of a loss on that because I want to get some collars going on. And then I need energy cells to keep them charged. How many do I have? Nine, which is not ideal. Black Widow's not doing great. What is Black Widow's situation? Starvation. 
is like maxed out for some reason. Black Widow just, it, it, this is gonna be the second time Emma dies on this channel, on this stream. I think she just had a number of bad schedules or something and just never got around to feeding herself. Or maybe we need more food stations or something. That could be the issue as well, more food stations. Can't believe you watched the toddler video and commented on it on another game stream that I don't watch. Emma, I, I live my life, okay? I, Emma, I just have to live my life. It spores on death, so both crew may be infected as you didn't wear space suits. Roxy for sure needs isolating, man. Yeah. That's gonna be annoying. I always do the fabri fiber fabrics industry first. I agree, I just didn't even think about it. So we're currently doing it. Well, kind of. Optronics fabricator first. So I can keep make uh, make some cells, energy cells. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, isolating. Let's talk about isolation. So we need to isolate Valis and Roxanne. And Roxanne is actually down. Shoot. Feeling ill. It doesn't say she has like what's it sickness though. So she might have just passed out. Uh, what are my options here? I actually don't have a good isolation chamber unless I put her in with all of the prisoners. Hines says you get botany experience for that. Let's, let me check here. Isn't it, uh, don't you need, f oh, botany one. Yeah, yeah, fair. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Now, what would be really nice is if they... If they spored, you know, if we had them forced to wear spacesuits all the time and only take them off to go to the bathroom or something. Feeling ill is the spores normally. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, but, but there's also a thing, like, so that means she's headed towards uh, sporing. Or did she spore right here, which would also suck. Oh, she was going to eat and then she passed out. But it, it also calls you over when she has a seizure, usually. One day and 14 hours left. What should I do? Keep her on this ship, maybe? I could just keep her on this ship. Guys, I just don't know how to... Uh, oh, and Valus is the other one to keep an eye on. Valus doesn't feel ill, so Roxanne is definitely going to spore at some point. So let's think about this. Roxanne. Let's... You know what we need to do is we need to get her to eat. First and foremost, she needs to eat. Because once she spores, she's not going to be able to eat for a while. So make sure she eats. And then I think... the Our best option... Okay, so she's eaten, her energy is low. I think her best option, our best option is to go down here. And, um, yeah, exactly what, ex what Emma said exactly. We're going to go down here. We're going to put her in this bedroom. We're going to lock it, and we're going to attempt to vent, to close the vent right when she spores. But the other issue is if she spores, maybe we're okay, because it's going to affect, like, these these rooms here. Roxanne locks herself in her own chambers. The vent is still open. So now if she spores, though, Gary the fish might take it right to the face. Igor, hello there, fellow space fairer. We are running low on some resources. I will give you 1,900 credits for 500 blocks. I'll give you the 500 blocks because we did buy them from you, and I'll take the 20k back and see if these guys cooked up some more hull blocks in the meantime. No, that you guys should do industry while we're here is kind of my feeling on that. I'm going to get four more of these because I do want at some point to get collars going. Give me a couple energy cells. Um, and no hull blocks. Give me a, give me a tech block. Give me a couple of info blocks. <laughs> All right, now let's make that money back. Here's five to seven pistols. Set her to sleep. Yes, I shall do so. That's a good, good call. So I use some energy and we don't really want much. This is an interesting move that they've done where, uh, the, the trade can become satiated. Good enough. 
Um, we're so like I like that. I like that they're like, oh no, that's actually too much trade. You can't just dump all your crap on me. Like you can't force me to take your crap. Roxanne, he still has starvation, but that should go away soon. What about Black Widow? Black Widow's okay now. Interstellar travel sickness. Yeah, there's a lot of people are stuck with that still. Okay. Roxanne, you're on. Yeah, let's override you and put you to sleep. Let's give you just eight hours of sleep in there. I was almost going to like, yeah, let's just close the vent. And then I realized that would be an insane idea. You know what we could do, though, is like we could put a door here, close this vent or something and lock it. And then that way she has that much oxygen to go through. But I think that I think she goes through that pretty fast. Anyway, we're just hoping. I hope if she spores, I catch it. Or if she spores uh, that I can. Uh, Roxanne and Emery now. You've eaten, so you'll be fine. Uh, or that if she spores, that nobody else is around. Those are my two hopes, I guess. All right. In the meantime, this continues to be built. We continue to trade with the uh, the Merchant Federation. Now, I wonder what they are thinking. They're just, like, watching us being like, Ooh, I guess these guys know what they're doing. Because, like, it's the civilians, so they must wonder, like, why I attacked them. Oh, do we make war with the androids now? Uh, Hein says trade for space food is cheap now. Let's take a look. I haven't even looked at that. I, I almost never feed them properly. <laughs> oh yeah, 85 bucks. I got a 10 stack of food, please, for 900 bucks. We'll sell some soft blocks. Maybe we could sell nine of them. We could sell five of them. Maybe I'll sell this processed food. Which is better, processed food, space food, or raw food has been processed and cooked nutritionally based on ingredients? I don't know. What else can we sell you that uh, is easy for us to make? I mean, these aren't easy to make, but you want a lot of them. There you go, 238. There you go. Get some more meals. What are you selling them for? Meals. Where are they? You don't have any. You can get some alcohol going on, though. It'd be nice. All right, Roxanne, you can do this. You can get over your illness, or you can... Okay, 14 hours left. Emma says, could always work on building an isolation room. Three med beds, one kitchen table, chairs, entertainment. Why are three med beds? I guess so you can isolate a bunch of people. Um... Yeah, I could get a, I could get, I guess I could get a quarantine facility going on. I think maybe we should put it down here in the corner of the ship. So, like, what about this? Like, some more housing blocks for our city ship here. A quarantine facility probably right here, I guess, already. It's kind of like the size we need, isn't it? And this is an engine room here. So what do we need for that? I need this to be like so. Uh, actually, no, wait, system. Hmm, I don't think... Oh, I really want to be able to get that in there. To do that, I need to move you over one. Okay, let's go into the sketch here. So let's do this. Let's sketch this out. Activate this sketch. And we'll see how that looks. We'll just keep that like that, because then I can get another engine in here. Into our eventual engine room. And then I think that means these wall pieces will be one up. So we'll kind of start there. A plague apartment, says, says Greg. Yeah, exactly. That is not how you spell plague, Greg. You should know that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we continue. Roxanne may need to be let out to eat, though, at some point. Give her another hour, eight hours of sleep. Her health continues to go up. Feeling ill continues to go down. Ten hours left on feeling ill, which means at some point she's most likely going to, I assume, uh, barf a bunch. So that is one of our, like, Roxanne is part of our boarding team. Can we switch that over? Like, let's take a look at Ayumi and Dolce. Not really. I kind of want to keep... Yeah. 
Ayumi could be good in Team 1. I almost want to keep Roxani on the ship now. I don't want her boarding. But you can't argue with Roxani's raw skills at shooting and her bloodlust. Like, that, she, Roxani's nuts. She fights to the death every time. But maybe some of these idiots can join us, like Gimli or something. Weapons. That's pretty good. The surrender is based on a wound. So Stockholm Center will make that probably a 0%. Uh, this person's got some good surrender. I like this. I like this person's surrender. Weapons three, though, but pretty accurate. A hardworking driller. We like that. We like getting drilled. Uh, if our asteroids. Sorry, <laughs> I misspoke. Good weapon skills here. Not very accurate though. Antisocial firefighter. Honestly, these are pretty decent crew. They should be fighting. They should not be civilians. I'm glad we're getting that sorted. Oh yeah, here's the one. I'm bartend iron willed bartender recruit. Look at this. Weapons, look at this, 60. Look at this person. They're quite zesty. Now, the bravery is no good, but the iron will gives it a minus 25. So he gets rid of that wound, and we're laughing. And then we're off to the races laughing. Now, the androids have pulled up, and I feel that it is time to let them be. No, I think we could, I think we could declare war on these fools, don't you? What are we dealing with here? Hull stability. 2300. Their shields are down at the moment, probably because they just came from a nebula, so this would be the time to attack them. I just don't know if I'm fully ready to attack them. But I think it's time to declare war against the uh, androids as well, even though we have one of our shooters down. So they have two auto turrets. We have three. We have two shields. We've got 2,600 hull, and they're sitting at 2,300. So it's going to be a pitched battle. We're going to need to board them and then spike those guns. That's our kind of our only way here, our only way through this thing. Uh, we do outpower them, though. Send, send Typhoid Roxy over. <laughs> it's not a bit. Here's the problem, though. As soon as we board, she'll just be like, oh, I got bleh. and then our crew will just all get spored right if we, as soon as we board. <sighs> Emma says we're not ready to hit that ship. Half our crew are dead. Are almost are or are uh, half half of our crew are almost dead. Half our crew are half dead. Nah, what are you talking about? Gary the fish is a little injured. What is that from anyway? He's awake. Well, they're not eating well either. Black Widow has a lot of issues. I guess the interstellar travel sickness is not good. Okay, fine. We're gonna play it safe because Emma doesn't want crazy content apparently. We'll talk to them, though. Maybe they want something. What do you want? Hull scrap for four? Yeah, okay, fine. That's worth it. It turns into $400 instead of me scrapping it, so that's fine. Let's trade with them. Let's make them think that we're friends. Do you know what I mean? Be like, hey, pals. Do you have anything for us? Do they have anything for us? IV fluid is cheap, actually. Could, could always go for IV fluid to help people get, especially once they spore. 1700 to gloom. Let's give you some off some of these. Sell off a bunch of these. We have too many of these. Um, chemicals? Do you, want, do you want a chemical? Another 5.7 pistol, because why not? I can start selling this kind of stuff, but I, you know, I don't want to. So tech scrap is fetching a... I can't tell if that's a good price or not. Technically, it's a good price, but it's not like, I don't know. I don't know if I care so much. I always forget. I think the green on this side means it's good for me. Um, well, it doesn't really matter at this point what we sell. Sell another soft block. Well, I'm, I'm going to probably use soft blocks. Give you some noble metals. Here. Give me 200 bucks. Your crew seems to be a bunch of landlubbers. I know. That's why we need to build our city ship and get a lot of uh, uh, volunteers helping us out. Oh, well. Come on now. Did we get it? Whoa, she's going to die. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Because con consciousness cannot eat health minus 64. Her food is at zero. We should have somehow figured out a way to feed her. Now, we do have IV, so does that not help? I feel like we can IV her. Let's get Emery over here to come get her. 
Emma says, unlock and get her to medical now. 100%. Honestly, let's get it. Let's, well, no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Emery first has to check her pockets to make sure she has insurance. Okay? We're not, this is not the freebie ship, all right? This isn't the SS, this isn't the SS communism, you know what I mean? Oh, whoops, I forgot to text my parents. Where's Mrs. Solid? She's gonna be mad at me. I was going to do it. I just got... One second. Done. Uh, all right. Oh yes, uh, happy Easter by the way, to the Easter people of this world. Who's Easter people out there? All right, come on, Gary. Let's get her some help. Now, does that... Oh, yeah, IV fluid. Yeah, see, that's why you want IV fluid, because that'll keep them fed. All right, we're good. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Team Fiasco. Just because I said I would do it doesn't mean you need to remind me every six months. <laughs> oh, I'm the worst. All right. All the bodies on the floor do seem to be deterring them. They don't seem to be that interested in turning on us. This door appears to be, you know, let's make that a normal door, please. Thank you. Um, we have the stuff now to build collars. I don't know if I need them. Like, are we ready? Why don't we have one? Let's do one. Let's build one. And then let's, or like we can build a bunch. Enslavify a few of them. Okay, so let's build three. And we'll save if I like one or two, then we will see how sustainable it is. If we if it lasts, if we can do this, then yeah, you know, then we're fine. <laughs> Emma says, Happy celebration of body stealing from caves day. What celebrate away? Eating chocolate eggs laid by buddies. Listen, nobody ever said humans made sense. Nobody ever accused humans of making sense. We'll get some food right now, please. Make sure Valus gets gets at least one crappy meal. There we are. Oh, nice. And repairs it. Did a, a quick spot. She quickly patched the short circuit that she caused. And I think Roxanne is is up and running. That's how quickly we got her because of the because of the IV fluid. The spore eruption. I think we're not worried about anymore. It'll just go away now, and then that's her health issues gone. And then, yeah, and then maybe we can think um, about taking on the androids. Don't you think? Don't you think we could think about that? <laughs> that's solid rupture. Oh, no, it's my green screen is, like, poorly placed. <sighs> Thanks for letting me know, though. My goodness. I still don't have a good spot for all that stuff. All right. That's his brain gassing off because he's thinking. It's true. It, what? Who did that? Gary tried to recruit Matthew, and Matthew beat the crap out of him. Almost killed him. You know what? Perhaps that was Gary's fault. Maybe Solid was too close to rocks and sport. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Okay, I need to check something real quick in my uh, just alt tabbing here for a second. I got worried I left Discord on. I'm pretty sure that's what was causing the crashes. Maybe. We're not 100% sure. What are we firing at? Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't let them damage this ship. I still have to strip it for all it's worth. So, good lord, you guys need to move faster on your stuff. Oh, for heaven's sake. This take forever. Bam, bam, ba down. Super chat. Ah. $2 from RG Oshmello. <laughs> oh, RG. $2 from RG Oshmello. RG, how the absolute heck have you been? How the absolute heck. 
All right, what are we going to expand here while we wait? Uh, we could do the back area here uh, or the forward area and have some more. I'm just trying to figure out where we want to put in the uh, industry. Let's go. Also, what's happening here? What's the plan? Activate sketch. You know, do it. Build th build there. Oh, that's weird. I think it goes away. Let's find out. Uh, system hyperdrive. What the heck? All right. Okay. New plan. Um. Wait. Uh, sketch. Maybe we fill that in. Activate. Nope. Okay. Remove hull. There we go. Let's remove that hull. <sighs> happy to hang out with the stream this morning. RG, I'm happy to have you here this morning as well. The all spork says, uh, <laughs> get good food at your crew and they will work more efficiently. Okay, fair enough. We got to get good food going. Yeah, we need to start thinking about growing good food, I think. I think that's a good point. Hey, Solid, it's been a year, says the all spork, since I've followed much on this game. Do you have a favorite update, change, or addition that's been made? RG says, I bet his favorite addition is the lockers, probably. Airlock must be full so they do not fetch stuff. No, that is what's happening. The airlock is full. I listen. I listen all the time, Emma. It's just like well, I've, I've seen that it's full. I know what they need to do. They need to do their jobs. So I'm just trying to give them time to do that. Meanwhile, Gary over here is half beat to death. Okay. This is the real thing I'm concerned about is getting this filled in and updating one RG about my life. Let's see what's going on. Not too much. Um, shot a, a few more comedy specials. Uh, working on those. My buddy's comedy special is doing well. I need to post about it on the socials, which I have not done because I'm very bad at my job. Um, working on other little pitches for like a possible like a streaming show type community tour thing. Um, what else? That's about it. Now, Beans, on the other hand, continues to excel at life. And we love watching it every second. Also, let the record show I do and did listen. Vampy's back. Vampy, defend me. Defend me in the chat. Okay, there we go. That works. Now, can I get an engine there? I don't need it just yet, but I just want to make sure that we're future-proofed here. So, right there. Perfect. All right. So, that means we need a wall. Like that, I guess. Let's see here. System... Yes, okay, great. And then we can put something in this area here. Or we can step this down. We could move this to, like, there. Hyperdrive, very good. So this, we might even want to change this, actually. Or we'll figure something out. We'll figure out something interesting to do with it. Then over here, we're actually going to move these walls. Like so. Something like this, maybe, just for some more interesting shape. And it looks like we can go probably one more. Oops, uh, probably one more over. There we are, like so. And that fits in right there perfectly. Okay, great. So we can probably put some other stuff, oxygen generator, etc., in there. Then this wall here kind of needs to go there, I guess. Very nice. It fits, fits very well there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to delete this guy for now. We've got a door in there in a little bit. Oops. This, I don't know when it's getting built. Yeah, so I guess we can just wait for a second. Let's get that one built. We'll just build it, you know, slowly. And then we're going to move this wall there or something. There we go. Uh, now... Ugh. To answer the sporks, the all sporks question. Also, I just I, I really love your username. What's my favorite update? Uh, that is a good question. What is my favorite update? A lot of the visuals are great updates. Obviously, I love having this chair. That chair is very a very nice update. The lockers also very good as far as updates. Maybe the map is probably my best. Like they they change the dynamics of the game every time a little bit, and I really enjoy, I enjoy that. Roxani is good. Vampy is still sick from tra interstellar travel sickness. 
We just got to get that all dealt with, and then we can start thinking about war. And then I want to move this as well. So where should we move all this crap to? This is what I, I just need. I really need to build some expansions to the ship. Thank you for the super chat, says Vampy. Yes, thank you, RG, for that super chat. This is absolutely wonderful entrance for RG. So, how much? Okay, I've got 23 hull, so I cannot do that much. I could do. Th I could expand the bottom tail section. And what does that allow me to do? Aside, I guess I can, yeah, build up the rest of the engine components. Start building some resource development over there. Let's do it. Let's build that. Because at least we're getting started, and then over, and we're going to continue to do stuff over here. As far as shuttles and such go, I don't know. I think I want this to be housing, don't I? Yeah, exactly. It's a make it so chair. Exactly. Yeah, I'm going to move all my shuttles away. Start getting some grow chambers. I think we were said in the last episode we were going to do something like that here. Grow chambers here. So we have this natural hallway forming here. We'll find out what kind of roomage we can put in there. But if we go grow chambers in here, is there something we can do that looks interesting? Again, I don't want large rooms. Uh, and yes, people have pointed it out before. It's primarily because of my inability to uh, keep things not burning. What else can you ask for in the game now, Solid? What else would I ask for is a great question. You're going to catch me probably asking for, um, what am I going to ask for? You're going to catch me asking for, uh, functional lockers would be good. No, I can't do that one. I also need to do it here almost. Let's move that one there. Now I think we have, yeah, we got a wall there. So we'll go wall here. For now, we'll leave an opening there. We'll worry about that later. Okay, so that's the plan here. Now, this is not going to get built, but this is our, our current design for, like, a small food chamber. I don't, I don't want to do it just yet. I wish you could build stuff and pause it. That would be another addition I would like to do. And, yes, I know we could do this way better if we just made a large room. And also, shut up. Because I guess where I'm going with that. Let's go, like, here. We'll do a double door right there. That's going to look nice. Somebody remind me that this is how it looks. And we're going to get some other stuff in there, too. Uh, a CO2 chamber and stuff. So that's going to be our first sort of grow chamber. And, in fact, we will move this over here. Favorite song is playing. Paul Zimmerman, we love you. We love you and miss you. Like, I think, he, I think he's fine, personally. But I'm just saying we miss him in general. Uh, how did this go again? Shoot. It was here, I think. Like that. And then, heck, we'll just build another one. How much does a one by? One by is two blocks, though. That's the other problem. It's very, very inefficient. So I think we're going to put a, a um, air scrubber, gas scrubber, whatever, CO2 producer, something there. RG, it's been a couple episodes since I saw Streamhaven. How many patrons do you have? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, RG, I don't have any. <laughs> We're working on it, though. We're working. In fact, I've made some new patron callers. So let's go and uh, make some. But we want to make them, like, one at a time and see if they survive. Uh, and, and don't cause problems. Weapons 2. Again, I don't know if they can fight, but that would be good to have a doctor. So let's uh, turn this one into a patron. So Roxanne is about to become a patron. Roxanne E is starving. Again, she's on break though. And she's eating. No, she's not. What the heck is going on here? Okay, I'm gonna draft her and literally bring her over here. I don't know why she's not eating. When they're starving, why do they not eat? Cannot eat, condition, right, of course. Two days and seven hours left. So, instead of me complaining about that, let's have her go and put herself in, in a med bed. Jobs, medical. Ah, oh, Roxanne has already been turned into a patron and did level six. Uh, level six medical to Roxanne. We love to see it. 
Greg says I'm wasting the grow space. Oh, I don't even think so. Um, Emma says I need a carbon dioxide maker in the grow room and a lot of heaters. I don't know if uh, is the CO2 scrubber that important anymore? The CO2 creator, I mean. I'm fine to be wrong. I just don't think it's that important anymore. Yeah, like, I just, I haven't seen it, unless it does speed things up in a way that I'm not even noticing. Three by one beds is optimal. Three by one beds? Uh, these things? Or you mean these things? No. You must mean these. That's two beds. These are, I think we did the math on it, these are the best uh, designs, technically. But you don't always do stuff for design, do ya? I never use that three by twos. These ones. I like them. Hein is saying the CO2 producer is good for a fruit and meat. Actually, I might use them. How many infra blocks do I have? Might as well just build this. I, d I do use them. I might use them here simply because we want room for that CO2 thing. Actually, we can't put it there now, so that's stupid. I mean, we can and we can't. Ask then answer. Do you know what I mean? Or I can move things over a bit. So, like, originally I was going to put that there. Maybe like that. Actually, okay, hang on. We do the same. Hmm. I, I think in this case, a... A large one makes more sense. Because we're going to do this. Then we can get a, a, a one by up here. And we can get a th uh, one by three here. Yeah, swapping these out doesn't save us any footprint. We'll do the CO2 producer because you're all telling me how important it is. So we'll do a CO2 producer and maybe a gas scrubber right here or a uh, um, water extractor. Then thermal regulators, as was told to me, and I do tend to agree, you need more than one. So we get one here. Let's do one here. I'm going to go all, I'm going to go exterior window because why wouldn't you on a ship like this? that if you use a single door you can replace the one by two with a one by three yeah it's true isn't it it is one more grow slot fine Ooh, i don't like that i'm doing this i don't like that i'm kowtowing to you um filthy viewers <laughs> but sometimes you should probably listen to them sometimes they help not often just kidding emma we love you so now I can't put a thermal there. I don't think it'll build. So I'm going to have to move this one, I think. Whatever. I'm going to put it here anyway because it's serviceable. Uh, let's put it here. And then I'm going to go... Uh, uh, I'm going to get a window there. Just a little two-by. No gas scrubber. The, CO, the CO2 and the gas scrubber in the carbon... Uh, and nothing is gained... <laughs> Don't worry, gang. The grow chamber will be perpetually on fire anyway. No, 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 no. Check this out, you guys. All right, all this talking about the gas grubber and CO2 producer can be placed in the same room and do not interfere with each other. Right here in the meta, Hein. The gas scrubber is if there's too, men too much uh, toxic gas or whatever, but it still allows the CO2 to build up to a nominal amount. That being said, we don't need it because I've built essentially one of the safest ships you've ever seen. The grow bed on the starboard side can be... Uh, now I have to remember which one starboard is. I think it's this one. This one can be replaced by three three-by-ones. Oh, you know what? I think she's right, actually. Uh, hang on. No. Well, I don't know if they fixed it, but that's what the lore says. 
That's only two, my friend. I could put one here, but then I'm going to have a dead spot right there. I don't know, Emma. I don't think so. No, no, she says. Oh, wait. I put them this way, maybe? One here. One there. One there. Starboard is the opposite to port. Yeah, that's what I've been told, uh, generally. I wish I could get storage in there. See, this is why I want functional lockers. A locker right there would be perfect. I mean, I might still put a locker there because visual, uh, but a locker there would have been perfect. Why are you giving me this warning? You can go there. Thank you. All right, assembler, do your thing. Now, how's, th how's this going here? Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, for heaven's sake, you guys. Let's go. All right, let's start salvaging some tech and infra scrap. A little bit of hull. Same thing over here, please. Let's do that. Do-do-do-do-do. Oh, wait, that means, hang on, uh, I'm an idiot. This was when we were moving. <laughs> oh, no, I just totally, I canceled it. I canceled the move, which just spent a, I should have put it right here. Anyway, anyway, we're not, ah, we're out of infra blocks. <laughs> ah, you just can't win when you start to build grow chambers. But I do agree that we should be feeding people properly. Blah, freaking blah. You have a couple of those. That'll be good enough. Okay, let's get some more info blocks from this team over here. And they're on sale. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. 1,200 doubloons. We're spending our money because we're trying to do some upgrades. Okay, sometimes you have to spend your money. Okay. Oh, oh we want to renovate the bathroom, but I only want to spend $10. That's on you. Now you're going to have a bad bathroom. That's on you. Dancing Cow. Hi, everyone. Don't forget you can set your grow bed limits now. I love that I can get to stop uh, growing stuff automatically by selling, uh, setting a limit uh, to a lower total than what we have in storage. Yep, that's true. <laughs> RG, how's the work going for the items transfer? Oh, very slowly. Well, better start salvaging and backing up logistics. <laughs> that does sound like me, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. It rings true. It rings true. Also, I wasted a lot of logistics over here. How are we doing? Yeah, but now we have a patron who's doing great work keeping our logistics kind of dealt with over here. Nope, not anymore. <laughs> Never mind. All right, we need another patron then. Ame. How many times have we brought an Ame over? You know what I mean? Weapons 4, antisocial, good at construction of mining... Gimli, what do you do? Ooh, a botanist. We do want a botanist. I'm going to keep you. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get you brought over. And that's it. We got to just do two. Because we have to keep the collars charged and blah, blah, blah. So we need to make sure we keep two. Or we could do logistic spots. But I have logistic spots here. In all these little logistic logistics bodies. Okay, this is coming together real nice. We're going to put a little window in here. That'll be nice. I mean, I could put a double door there. I could put a double door there. I could close this. And if I made this a one-by, I could get rid of this door. I could put storage here, unfortunately. That's going to cost me one grow bed chamber. But let me just show you guys what it looks like, and then you can tell me what you think. All right, we're going to go all here. Good. And then I'm going to go double door, which I always wanted instead of a window. Great. It's a closed off grow chamber. Okay. Then we're going to go uh, food. We'll put some food here. One, two. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Food here. I don't know if we need storage here, though. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. You know what I mean? But I think it looks okay. I think it looks nice. It's a little cluttered. It cost us one gross bed, but it's fine. Emma says logistics bots don't have entertainment time when they work for the through. Okay, well, okay. I mean, I guess. Oh, they're kind of cheap to make, aren't they? They're pretty cheap. I mean, we could do it, I guess. 
<laughs> it says, no, but we have patrons with all-inclusive bands. They do have all-inclusive bands. Like, yeah, I feel like you're not respecting our patrons maybe a little bit. Because, like, Emma, spoken, honestly, spoken like a true uh, um, capitalist, you know? Where you're just like, yes, but uh, robot workers don't ever need to eat. Have you considered that you never need to feed a robot worker? It's like, ugh, classic Emma over there. Why don't we simply eat people and have robots? Okay, that could be good. Is Cow leaving? No! Gotta go. Have a swell day, everyone. Bye, Cow! Bye, Cow! Wait, there's a little bit of this for the cow. This is what people need to remember. I am a p -p 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 pro gamer. Alright. So I need you to trust me when I make my moves. And borders aim for logistics bots for hitting crew sometimes, which we also don't want. Anyway, we're low on infra blocks, but I'm going to build a bunch of these. Because uh, we do have a trade coming up of a bunch of infra blocks, so we'll be fine. We did use a lot of infra blocks just getting this little spot of the ship built, though, which is quite a lot. Honestly, I'd say we're getting on top of our stuff. It feels good. But this is the part of the stream where you just gotta chat. You just gotta fill in the crowd. <laughs> DPS was it. It's not about trust. It's that we know about your shenanigans. Yeah, you know, you, might, you know my shenanigans. My, my sh shenanigans are so known by you guys. We could keep a shuttle bay here. This could be a shuttle bay. Uh, it's just in the housing area is not ideal. So it does bleed out into the halls. The shuttle hangar is minus 26. The pod hangers, although it doesn't actually bleed out into the halls, what we need to do is seal this wall in here to, to actually discern whether it does or not. Yeah, let's finish this up just to check. But I'm pretty sure shuttle bay, two shuttle bays in here would be detrimental to the sleeping arrangements. Now, that being said, there's another wall in the way which does fully kind of insulate these little guys. So everyone's actually quite happy here. That's not bad. Maybe it's okay. Maybe we just leave it as is. It would be cool if rogue bots could hack your logistics bots and turn them evil. It's, it's very true. I do wish that I could... Um, take like what you said Green Beef did where it's like you take one of the bots and turn like you know enslave three infra blocks for 1300 cr credits I guess I just I wanted the infra blocks but I did I've bought more than three so like I guess we could sell them back and essentially erase our uh, profits or and slash and or the lack thereof what do you need to be repaired? Just maintenance, okay. Oops. <laughs> um, sorry guys, just a just a really quick whoops over here. There we go. Let me build that wall. Get that prison sealed up tight. Okay, so I need a place for patrons, and then I need a place for um, prisoners to stay. Maybe refugees as well. The refugees can stay in the isolation chamber or something. My goodness, sorry. Doing a lot of yawning, which, you know, it's not great content, is it? Can I get another facility in here? Let's get some more med beds going. We'll build another one. Every so often we should just build a few. I might want to redesign this medical area because it's like I've done better. I want to expand this, uh, you know, whatever recreational area. Maybe right up into this space here. No one can be legit be this bad for this long. It must be that <laughs> So mean. I'm very good at the game. No, I think um, where it comes from is just simply uh, something something ADD. You know what I mean? Unless I put a door here, I'm never going to be able to test this uh, this theory out. I want to just check how much I can mitigate 
the unhappiness. Yeah, I'm I'm basically playing 4D chess. What do you have over here? What are you trying to bring over? So much stuff still, <laughs> guys. I guess a lot of this got ejected from the pieces we were taking apart. I do agree with Greg. I am too fun not to watch. Bad environment, oxygen. What's going on in here? That don't make no sense. There's literally an oxygen generator right next to you. Stop whining. Grow beds coming together real nice. Nothing planted. What can we do here? We do have that new botanist. So we can start doing nuts and seeds. The botanist is a volunteer. That what? No, we have a... Don't we have another person? Roxanne. And where was the other one? Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We didn't want... Oh, I'm confused now. Iron will... Okay, this is the one... Yeah, wait. Matt, that's the one that we want to have join us. Gimli is not being recruited. We want Gimli to... There we go. Join us in a different capacity, if you will. And then we will have the skill to botanize. To lobotanize that stuff. And we're going to go... You know what? This is all fruits. That's all just big fruits. It's just a big strawberry field in there. Okay. And then in here, we're going to go root veggies. All right. And we're going to go root veggies in this one. Can you commandeer enemy shuttles? Uh, if build bay to save build resources for shuttles? No. I do wish you could, though. Emma says, I watched all to make myself feel better. I'm glad I make you feel good. <laughs> In whatever way that may have to be. There, look at all these logistics bots. Build a bot. Oh, right. Building. Okay. It automatically starts building one. We're gonna, there you go. Some log logistics bots for you. How about that? I mean, where else can you see so many bodies on the floor and laugh? Yeah, I have I have plans for the bodies. Don't you don't you worry. Skill level too low on seven things. That's okay. We just have it's about to not be once Gimli realizes that he is now going to join us. Oh, welcome aboard, Gimli. You have some botany to do, my friend. Get to doing botany. You're the only one who can do it, Gimli. So for the time being, you're pretty much the botanist. So I'm going to get as much work out of you as I can until such time as you get, you know, upset or whatever. Let's do that. Uh, until such time as you, you know, decide to rebel. Anybody who rebels will be spaced, and eventually we will build the grand, uh, we will build the grand chambers, and that's where uh, judgments will be meted out on both crew and patron alike, and prisoners. I mean, prisoners are usually just shot in the prison and then left to s in their bags. Hein says, I hope Axel will make it possible to claim shuttles and hod pangers from derelicts. Yeah, but I guess the, the, the question, the issue there could be, um, does that make it too easy? Is that like, does that mess up the game loop? Ooh, two androids. Do we, t do we dare? Probably not yet. <laughs> RG wants me to dare. Fair enough. Fair enough, RG. We could just create another housing block right here. Uh, if we felt it was necessary. And then some grow chambers. I guess we also... Yeah, it's, it's tricky. Because if we do... We could continue with shuttle bays. Although I don't... Maybe I can't even fit a shuttle bay in here. If we can't, then we should consider something else. need to be there to get another shuttle bay in there. I mean, we could keep this as is also, except for the fact that these don't line up. Perfect. Like, like, we can change that, obviously, and put another hot panger in here, but we could keep this mostly as is.
Grow beds need stuff growing. Yes, I know. <laughs> or maybe you said that early before I even assigned growing. Nothing planted. That's all going to be fruits. Nuts and seeds. Yeah, we're going to start feeding these people. Um, let's go fibers in these back ones here. Because believe me, we're going to go pretty hard on these uh, uh, patrons. All right. You've got your orders. You guys do some planting. There we are. What is this telling me? Out of energy. It's not charged up yet. Okay, that's fine. So uh, this one we're going to name... Um, do this in a more cool looking done <laughs> okay and then there's this one time is also mean I remember who else was mean to me for Gwenzel a little bit Although I do kind of like that, Emma. Huey, Louie, and Dewey. <laughs> I kind of want to watch that show again. I remember, oh man, Saturday morning cartoons, man. And you get like, you're watching that. You're watching Tailspin. There was another show, I think it was Care Bears, where uh, there one of the bad guys, one of the henchmen of the bad guys has like a nose, like a really long nose. And is he the one that's always like, Weasley? Here they are, let's go check out. Check out what we're dealing with. One of these and one of these. All right, hang on. Let me look up here. Okay, get ready, guys. Hein, nine crew is not enough to take out two enemy ships. Two enemy ships over here. Two brand new enemy ships. All right, Hein. All right. All right, Hein. Oh, wait, are you talking about a different movie? Maybe I didn't get your reference. I thought I was thinking cartoons. That might be a big ask of your crew size, but remember, pro gamer. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you need a door to your shield room. Uh, well, I only have the one. Oh, yeah, I guess that's... Uh, you mean up here? I mean, it's, it's all underbuilt because we haven't really decided where everything's going to go. I think I want to move this out of here and get another... Honestly, we don't need two miners. What we need are two... Builders, I think, because they're the ones that do the salvaging. All right, how's Team Two doing? Uh, team One, how are you doing? Okay, let's. Br we need to bring everybody back, though. As is the one thing I want to do. We need to not have anybody scooting around being stupid. So to that end, we don't have any trades. So I'm actually going to draft this shuttle. Where's my other shuttle? There it is. I'm going to draft this shuttle as well. They're doing some trade right now. Oh, hello. That'll be fun to take. Oh, I can't believe... <laughs> you're just really... A you're just asking for it. Operations. We'll keep that on red. Shields, red. Team 2. You're actually... Team 1 and 2 are going to stick around and defend the ship because... Uh, okay, Team 1. Here we go. I'm just going to draft all of you guys and bring you over here. We're going to inform these idiots. That we're now going to be at war with them. But the reason I drafted these guys, now I undraft them, is because I didn't want them on the panels. Uh, let's see. Negotiate. Permission to visit our ship. Well, you didn't agree. So now I have Cassus Belly, and I have decided. And you have no missions for me either? <laughs> okay, well, you guys are dead now. Declare war. Yes, I declare war. This means war. We will crush you. Goodbye. Now. What are we dealing with here? We've got no. We've got one auto turret on this ship, completely unarmed on this ship. Hein is over there being like, there's no way you can take it with your crew size. Now, that's not true, and I'll show you why. <laughs> because first, yeah, you maybe want to beat this one up a little bit. But first, what you do is you slice him up a little. Okay, you teach him that it is not okay to be declared war on by me. Then you deal with their shields. 
Then you start dealing with their guns. They've got a ways to go through our shields. We should have them dead to rights on this one. Yeah, tiny hull. Then, at some point, these little fools are going to come and try to board us. Now, that's the cheesiest way to do it. The film was silent running. Was Huey, Dewey, and Louie? Um, silent running? Oh, wow, that's a deep cut that I do not recognize. I thought we were talking about Saturday morning cartoons. I thought we were talking about Care Bears and stuff. Nihal, why do you have such bad stamina compared to everyone else? Are you not sleeping with everyone else? You know what I mean. You should be sleeping with everyone. It gives you more energy. Fatty asses deficiency? Is that kind of the only thing wrecking his energy? Why is energy so low all the time? Maybe he had particularly tough work to do. Vampy, so how long do you have left? I'll probably wrap things up. Well, you know what? I was going to wrap things up at, uh, at 11... Uh, 30. But if this is very exciting... Okay, that shuttle has nobody on it. Look at this ship. It's just, it's firing in all directions. It's taking out asteroids. It's taking out, uh, you know, uh, cultists. Or androids, I mean. <sighs> there we are. Kind of working our way through their hull now so we can start doing things. Meanwhile, our ship is doing okay. We're using up a lot of power to fire our weapons. Shields are staying... Uh, are operating nominally. They managed to get their shields up all the time. So this is... Yeah, it's going to take a while to get through their ships. Ideally, what we want are... Uh, or through their shields, rather. Ideally, what we want are, like, just a whole bunch more auto turrets. I'd love, like, a row of auto turrets and then missile turrets as well. See how, like, Roxanne is not at all worried about this, uh, this crew. Boarding us or anything. Here we go. I, uh, we could accept their surrender. Let's decline. They need to board us at some point, surely. Greg Laws all watch the Care Bears. <laughs> he still does. <sighs> Emma's like, boarders being boarded, or you want me to go board them? It's just not smart gameplay to board them. Yeah, don't worry. That's why I'm out in tactical view. I stay here because I keep an eye on these shuttles. You can also see it up here if they decide to board. They got their shields up. Potentially one last time. Nope, nope, never mind. They are working hard to keep their shields up. You have to respect it. You really do. Decline again. All right. Okay, let's take our team. Hang on, we'll wait until this ship is destroyed. There we are. Now we don't need shields. Operations can go to yellow. Turrets will keep red. Okay, they should probably board us at this time. Start working through this one. Here, what do we have? Nobody in that. Nobody in this one. They're gonna come and rescue everybody. And how many people are gonna get on this shuttle? One. One. So they only have two people on this ship? Hein, I don't, oh, here we go. There we go, that's a decent crew. What am I doing? Is that mine? Oh, no, that's it. Oh, they've purchased a, a repair order. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> now, if I were you guys, I would come and board me, but probably aren't going to. I do want... Okay, it's clever to not board me, I guess. <laughs> what are these guys? These guys are just hovering around trying to repair the ship. I'm trying to destroy it. They are just playing right down the middle, which you come to expect nothing less with the... Wait, this is the military alliance. Dude, this is brutal. They're like, please don't destroy this other don't destroy these ships. I kinda do want to board here we go. Are they coming to us? 
Doesn't look like it. Oh, they're just hanging out in space. Holding on to people. I kind of don't want to destroy this ship, though. Hmm. Decline. No, no, no. We're at war with you now. You, know, you need to understand that we're at war. And we need to design a bigger prison as well. Because I think we're going to be doing this a lot. I think this is a primary way we're going to get... Oh, 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 I wasn't paying attention. The primary way we're going to get resources. Okay, I'm missing somebody. Somebody... I... I... I drafted the shuttles for a very specific reason. And that reason was for you to not leave during a defense of the ship. Oh, heavens. Knee haul. Okay, you're needed. All right, what else do we got here? Can we draft Gimli? No, you can't really get Gimli to do anything. Emery, what you got? You got an SMG. You can help. Gary has no stamina and a handgun. You're useless. And not at your post. Nobody's at their post firing weapons or running operations, so that's fine. Ayumi, you get over here, too. Oh, you guys drive me nuts. I guess it auto-undrafts after a while. There is chaos going on. There's a lot going on right now on this ship. So Ico, Fred, and Molly need to be di uh, dispatched. Uh, Dulce, what are you up to? Let's get you in here, please. And like you said, we have the logistics robot. Okay, let's pull Dulce back behind some cover here. Whoops. I mean, it should be defensible. Yeah, there we go. Simply because we've, we're behind some some secure walls. You won this one, you, but we will get you someday. Take crew as prisoners. I just, I, I feel like Hein, I hope Hein notices this. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, you can't do this. You simply can't do it. There's simply too many ships for you to take. You keep forgetting that I am a pup, 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 pro gamer. Now, do we want to destroy this ship or should we just board it? We could just destroy the ship, I guess. All right. Wait, this is this is my is that one of my logistic spots? Okay, fine. Meanwhile, Team 1 has been sent over here. We're going to go and start doing some boarding actions. We're at least going to clear this one so we can figure out what's going on on board of it. Maybe we take a look at this one. Let's turn our turrets off for now. We can we can always set up another safe scum station. Station? Safe scum point. Ayumi, where the heck are you? I believe you were asked to board. Ayumi! <laughs> Please... Are you not? Are you in Team One? No, Ni Hall is Team One. That's, that, come here. What's Ni Hall doing? Ah, I see. I see. The door's broken. Okay, that's fair. You guys broke the door. Okay. Can somebody? Uh, can you yeah, repair that? Thanks. Okay, Ni Hall, you stay right here. This is annoying. Ayumi, never mind. Undraft. Okay. Doc over here. This is very frustrating. Red Hat Maverick, I haven't seen you in a while. Yay, death, doom, and destruction, says Red Hat Maverick. Yes, agreed. Agreed. Okay, can we get somebody repairing this, please? Maintenance. One of you losers could do it. Emery, do it. Thank you. We're trying to board. Okay, we are. So team one, maybe this is not team one. Okay, whatever. We brought a weird team over, but we're gonna. That's fine. I'm not sure. So this door got all messed up. Did you fail at your task? I bet you did. No, you didn't. Okay, good, good, good. All right, very good. Okay, we've still got turrets trained on them, but I'm currently not using them. Carefully move through this ship here. We have no idea how many folks are still around. The Merchant Federation is coming in. We're not at war with them. 
They're probably coming in to feast off the carcass we destroyed. This is our kill. Oh, okay, the turrets wake up again. I could probably just stop firing. This looks pretty derelict. Yeah, I kind of want an intact ship. Bam, bam, ba down. Super chat. $20 from Red Hat underscore Maverick. Ride the wave. God lord, Red Hat Maverick. That's too much. <laughs> Red Hat Maverick throwing down a $20 uh, super chat. I uh, appreciate that tremendously. Let's stop firing. I want to keep this ship because if Red Hat does that massive super chat like that, we take the ship in one piece. We're gonna go board it. I might still save scum though because these guys are not doing great. They're a little. They're a little tired. Red Hat Maverick, I want to thank ah, you so much. Solid shut okay, up. no, Red Hat, no. <laughs> Red Hat, no. Red Hat, no. Ah, solid, shut up. We got a new member. No. Welcome aboard, Eternal. Welcome back with your gifted membership. That was too many, Red Hat. Ah, you're being solid, kind, but shut up. guys, we guys, got a guys, new stop member. <laughs> Red Hat Maverick gifted RG a membership. Welcome back, RG. Oh, for heaven's sake. All right, so what we want to ah, do solid, right now... Solid, shut up. We got a new member. Jacob Jones became a member. Welcome back, Jacob Jones. Oh, this is a pretty good haul. This is a delightful haul, actually. Okay, so we're going to board this ship here and give you some ah, boarding solid, action. Solid, shut up. We got a new member. <gasps> the lurkers are being exposed, yeah. Idalia has give, is a member now. Idalia, welcome aboard the ah, membership Solid, trade. shut Guys, up. We got a new oh, member. Man. Sulaco41 has been gifted a membership. Welcome aboard. I'm trying to do a boarding action right now. Oh wait, hang on. Okay, I gotta. Ah, I need solid. maximum Shut focus. Up. We got a new member. Phelan's back. Thanks, Phelan, for being a member. Thank you, Red Hat. We do appreciate it. Whoa, whoa, ah, solid. Sick. Shut up. We got a new member. Sick. Black Widow's about to get a critical hit from a shotgun blast. Look at that shell. Hey, uh, who is that? Uh, Bugsy has become ah, a member. Solid. Welcome, Bugsy. Shut up. We got a new member. R Remrocks has become a member as well. Night Turtle. Everybody spamming. RG's done another super chat, and it's been... Solid, oh, oh, Valus took the hits member. instead. Valus is down. This is some of the most critical shot gunnery I've ever seen in my life. That Blah, shotgun solid, was brutally effective. got a new member. Rechnin has become a member again. Okay, this might be bad. Roxani is quite exposed, I think. Bam, bam, ba down. Super chat. And an RG $2 super from chat. RG. Wavy. Oh, I didn't do a save recently. <laughs> Shoot. Ah, hey, solid, guys. shut guys, up. Stop. We got a new member. ZK616 became a member as ah, well. Welcome solid, aboard. shut up. We got a new member. Remrock speaking. Oh, it's doing them all again. Why is it doing ah, that? Solid, no. shut up. We got a new member. Guys, I'm currently losing a boarding bam, action bam, right down. now. Super chat. Stop it. $10 from Greg Wenzel. Greg all Wenzel way. did $10 super chat. Thank you, Greg, for the $10. I'm getting roasted here. I can't survive this onslaught. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Oh, this is a huge firing position for me. We love this position. Oh, my goodness. Hey, let's stay in that firing position. How about... Oh, my goodness. Okay, that wave was a lot of chaos, and I want to thank you all for that. More wave for Greg Wenzel. Thank you for the $10. RG, thank you for the 2 and 20 Red Hat for the 20 sorry, and the 10 gifted solid memberships. I'm a, I'm a bit... Okay, we'll talk to you guys, but I'm a bit busy at the moment. We're learning low on resources. <laughs> they just called. They're like... Hey, I, I just imagine like I'm literally in a war. You can hear the like the th dull thumps of like go 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 go, and and the Merchant Federation just calls up and they're like twist curling their hair like hey, wondering what you guys are doing. We're just in the bath. Listen, do you have any infra blocks? I'm like in the middle. You can hear the gunfire in the in the like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I can get you some infra blocks. Just uh, give me a couple days. I'm gonna do it anyway because it's two thousand doubloons. So buy them back for cheaper. <laughs> All right. Now, this is a cheesy and delightful spot. So I think we drive this home. Let's get these three. Where are you? Emery, what do you have? You have nothing, right? 
So two, okay, two is now gonna have Emery as well. Okay, so team two's got Emery. We're gonna draft you guys. Darn, none of my shuttles are here. Oh, here we go, perfect. Go onto that shuttle. Environment condition. Roxanne has a high body temperature. What's going on here? Okay, I understand, but you gotta you gotta put up with it. We're gonna send reinforcements right now. Uh, I might even undraft this shuttle. I don't know. Might have to undraft that shuttle, actually. Yes. All right, Emery. Ayumi is like six thousand yards away. In the meantime. This ship is not messing around. So, okay, Roxanne, let's have you move forward a little bit. Oh, doing a repair, eh? It's a pity that repair. Oh, with the shotgun, too. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Possible cheese pasta. Oh, the shotgun is bad, though. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, good. Tidan has given up and panicked. Valis is panicking and moving. But also giving us a view of the rest of the ship, which is nice. Luke is going to come around the corner here. Good. Where's my... Oh, sorry, I'm scrolling weird. All right, you come around here, please. Bring in my reinforcements. Vampy, we don't know what Vampy's up to. Okay, Valis is over here. Open wound regressing, but she's got a fairly high amount of hit points left. She should be okay to get some medical attention. Oh, 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 bad exchange. Let's see if we can get one more shot at him. Yeah, I don't want to take any. I don't want to take shots I don't have to. Luke is now going to come and put himself in the bad position properly. Here comes my reinforcements. We love this for me. Hein was like, you can't take two ships. You don't have enough crew. Val is running around panicking, shouting where the enemy are. Yeah, I know. Like, you'd think in real war they would probably just deal with her, unfortunately. If this were RimWorld, that person would be... She'd be dead. Luke gives up immediately. Uh, Luke, what are we dealing with here? Uh, you are pretty good. Ah, uh, clumsy. All right. Roxanne now has an injury as well. Okay, we got to play it fairly safe here. I don't want to lose any crew to this. I'm trying to show off my pro gamer moves. We now move. Oh, no. Oh, dear. That's not going to be good. Hang on. Spacesuits. I guess we could put the fire out. I think we got to get off this ship. I think we need to get Valis out of here. We need to... Oh, for heaven's sake. Huh? Here's where they're all hiding. Bad positioning, bad positioning. Get out of there. Roxanne's about to die. Shoot. Okay, there. We got it. We got it. Valis is going to give up. Michael... We're going to lose Valis, I think. Uh, okay. Let's do this here. Oh, boy. We give up. Please accept a ceasefire. Imagine that death on lots of fire. <laughs> Can't be a more standard solid showing. <laughs> take, take them all prisoners. Uh, I don't think Valis is going to make it. I think that's th what's happening. Too much smoke going on. Now, will Valis die if we're carrying her? That's the real question. Probably. We have to carry her through the fire. Oh! Valis. First degree burn and wounds. Hmm. We did like Valis. We did like Valis. Things got very spicy in here. I think we got to get out of here. We got to bug out. Let it consume. Oh, Philo's gone. Okay, Tyden, what are we dealing with? Weapons three, research botany, alien lover, and a teacher. 
RG, that's the question. It's like, we liked Valis, but would, did Valis take a, you know, narrative position in the show? In the show? In the stream? We don't know. Okay, you two bug out. Actually, no, wait, hang on, Roxanne. We do need to save Roxanne, the captain, so let's do that. Let's have you two actually stay back. Let's have you two brave the fire and the heat. Probably should have put on spacesuits earlier. But, I mean, Valis was done for. Like, I couldn't get Valis out of there. Hopefully they still have a running gas scrubber. If not, this ship will always be a problem. Right. There we are. We might have to... Oh, uh, you know what we could do is salvage the hull first, and that'll vent all the smoke. And then they'll always just spacesuit anyway. Although I think they'll automatically spacesuit at this point. I think don't scum it. No, me neither. I think that's the story. How are we doing in here anyway? What's, what's the temperature? 291 degrees on this ship. My goodness. I don't think they have a gas scrubber. Uh, although, is the power running still? No, they, the, the ship's powered down. Undraft everything. All right, what did we get out of that, though? What did Valus' life get us? Two infra blocks, couple energiums. Not much. <laughs> oh, a lot of bodies, though. That's nice. And some uh, weapons. We can sell those. Perfect. Okay. Uh, okay, we have some stuff to do here. We have Valus who has lost her life. We will we will reinforce team one. Oh, wait, crap. Where's that shuttle? There's a shuttle here that's stuck drafted. Okay, hang on, sorry. Let's bring you home. So we can get Roxanne the help that she needs. Everybody else should be okay. Roxanne, I don't know where you're going, but let's get you over here. Bam, bam, ba down. Super chat. $2 from RG, PPP Pro Gamer. PPP Pro Gamer from RG. That's right. We are a pu -pu -pu Pro Gamer YouTube. I would like the record to show Hein said it couldn't be done, and I only lost one person and set fire to a whole ship. That got very exciting, actually. The fire... The fire was very exciting. No, don't ah, do it solid. again. Red Shut up. We got a new member. Red Hat, no. <laughs> Bert. Vivemdier, welcome. Ah, Jason Stoney, Shut up. welcome. We got a new member. Auntie Denton, welcome back. Laura Storm Anderson. Frank's... Smith the second, Stefan ah, Van Rooge. Solid, shut up. We got a new member. River G George and F.A. Akar, welcome aboard the membership train. Stop it. <laughs> ah, solid, shut up. We got a new member. Call me Patrick. And Stephen Thetford has been gifted a membership. That means we'll probably see Stephen Thetford. Is this your biggest stream ah, earner today? Solid, shut probably. Up. We got a new member. And what's my, it's my green screen? Why did my green screen fail? I didn't even notice that the green screen was going that poorly. Ah, solid, it. shut up. We got a new member. Why is my green screen so bad? Is it because of the super chats? One second, let me try something here. Where's my filters? Ah, solid, shut up. We got a new member. It don't work anymore. The green screen has simply stopped working. Um. Ah, solid, shut yeah. up. We got a new member. I will shut up. Just give me a second. Okay, let me add another green screen in, I think. Uh, what is it called? Another... Ah, uh, solid, key? shut up! We got a new member! Color key two. Green. Custom color. Select ah, color. Solid, shut up! We got a new member! Um, I'm trying to... Okay, <laughs> pick screen color. There you go. Pow! Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> ah, solid, <laughs> shut up! We got a new member! Uh, they're just testing your disc. Who's testing the? Yeah, they're testing. Yeah, they're testing to see if the if the um, if the stream. Ah, solid. <laughs> shut up. We got a new member. It. I can't concentrate. Ah, solid. <sighs> shut up. We got a new member. They're testing. Thank you, all the new members, and no ah, thank you solid, to stream shut elements. Shut up. We got a new member. That t that plays the icon twice every ah, time. Solid. Red Hat shut up. We got a new member. Because Red Hat Maverick is literally breaking stream elements. Ah, we solid, appreciate. Solid. Shut up. We got a new member. We do like it though, and I I thank you for that. Ah, solid. <laughs> shut up. We got a new member. <laughs> 
Ah, solid, shut this up. A, we got a new member. My screen's not working. We're, I need some more patrons, I think. Although I did not take very, to be honest, I did not take very many hostages, did I? Um, okay, is this temperature going to stay high on that? Okay, it's falling. The smoke is still going to be there. I don't know if that matters or if that slows them down more than stripping some hull would slow them down. Like, what's slower? Working in spacesuits? In smoke? Or spacesuits? I don't think it matters because they're going to be in spacesuits regardless. <laughs> I, I worked on my, my green screen is ruined. I don't know why it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, let me try to get the filters. Um, all right, now, question. We have a lot of just, like, salvaging to do. Okay, so it's this one that's not working. Select color, pick screen color. Okay, wait, cancel. Uh, I don't know, is that a thing? No, this is not working. <laughs> there. It's not working. I don't know. Yeah, the green screen is just not doing it right now. Smooth, smooth it out a little bit. Uh, contrast, no. Brightness. Okay, select color. Pick screen color. Yeah, it's just not. It's the wrong. It's something to do with the. Okay, there we go. See, it doesn't work. All right. It's something to do with the summer months coming in now. This is very frustrating. The summer months are not playing nice with the. Uh, with the color of the... It's probably also on such a rakish angle that it colors differently. Do I have space sickness? Yeah. Are you going to brighten it up, maybe? Brighten this up? Oh, that made it worse. Dim this down until it gets into a... Turn it off, even? Yeah, my green screen doesn't work. Okay, well, that's going to be annoying. Because what I wanted to do, guys, for the next half an hour... Uh, was take a look at a game I was sent called Norland. Um, what do you guys think about that? Or do you want to just watch some more building happen? You guys can vote. I wish Vampy could do a poll. We can stick around in this. In fact, who was doing all the... Okay, Red Hat, I guess, and RG, and Lance. You, you get to pick. Okay, Red Hat voted for building. All right, so we're going to stay in Space Haven then. I'll try to do an offline about Norland. It was a, It's a cool-looking game that I was sent. Um, that I think we've had all collectively on our wish list for a while. Build, build, build. I'm not sorry I can't. Vampy, we need you to be able to do polls. And Team Fiasco. Works fine. We don't see your background. Yeah, but look at this green crap. I kind of might do... I don't know what you guys think. Like, like I've said before, I might do no green screen. And then just like an interesting background behind me eventually. I watched that Vic that side-scroller Viking game video you made. I really want to try that game. Okay, RG, I'll buy it for you with your money that you sent me. <laughs> Alright, I feel like I'm going to move this stuff out of here. I want to convert this into housing. Then we need some more industrial. I think this should be industrial stuff. We have we have so much work to do, honestly, on ripping these ships apart. So this is full of gas now, but it's actually... The gas... I didn't know this, but there you go. There's your answer. The gas does cool down eventually. Very cool. Good haul. Sorry, Valis. You were not meant to be. Ah, yes, more power for us, says Team Fiasco, because polls are definitely something I should be in charge of. <laughs> Sorry, not in our job description or do YouTubes. I know, maybe a channel manager or something, that's a thing. Yeah, Emma, everybody's voting B, I think. RG, honestly, I really did like that side scroll because it's very much like Kingdom Two Crowns, but it's, uh, it's a lot more complicated, like a, a lot more complex. And the building is a little more... You get to decide a few more things. So it's like really just kind of adding to it. It did kind of make me want to get back into that Lemmings game that we played a long time ago. I wonder how that's doing. Sorry, just moving the mic. I'm aware that... It doesn't sound bad to me, but I'm aware that every time I touch the mic, it's uh, uh, kind of noisy. All right, so we have 20 minutes left to do some building here. What do we vote? I think... Engine room, obviously. I think maybe we move... We start building... A complicated prison complex all along here, maybe. 
Very complicated, though. I want it to be complicated. I also think what we need to do is start thinking about the look of it. We keep designing prisons just like any other chamber. Or, sorry, chambre. And I think what we need to do is really uh, acknowledge the fact that uh, it needs to feel and be scary. It needs to look like a prison. Secondly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this miner. Uh, I'm going to abandon this craft because I need a builder right now. Uh, abandon. We, we don't really mine that often, to be honest with you. It's not quite worth it for us. Let's build a builder. We'll keep one miner, obviously, because it would be stupid to abandon all of them. But we're going to get another builder here so we can get going on uh, finishing this hull. It would be so much fun, says Vampy. What? Can you imagine the polls we would do? Oh, no. I'd be fine with that. Honestly, I think that would be funny. I think that would be an extension to the uh, enjoyment uh, that people have watching these streams. It's because we're just mainly here to rip on me, which, you know, thanks, I guess. But also to have a good time hanging out. Okay, do I have my builder? Yes, I've got another builder built, so that's good. It's still saying airlock blocked. That doesn't matter to a builder, but anyway, we'll worry about that later. So we have Emma is mean. We've got Hein is also mean. And, oh, and then we're going to have R, 3, D, H, 4, T, breaks stuff. Red Hat breaks. <laughs> I don't know. That's, there you go. That's what you get. Builder bots can take apart enemy derelicts and can also haul crates. Builder bots. Right, yes, they do salvaging as well. Yes, correct. But I haven't researched them yet. I'm still researching basic. Remember, we're mid-game. I know it looks like we're way advanced right now, but we're, we're still in the mid-game. What would be the first letter of the alphabet? A, B, A, B or B, A. <laughs> okay, I like that poll, Team Fiasco. Slave complaints. I didn't know they were allowed to. No access to a kitchen, eh? That means they're going to rebel on us. Okay, so we're going to need this prison to have uh, patrons' quarters as well as prisoner quarters. The prisoners will need to be somewhat restricted. And I would love to create the ability to like lock down the prison if needed that would be sweet so all the back hallways are, oh, 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 oh. it's worth it Matthew Emery you just weren't good enough so that's we're not gonna you know cause any retribution on on Matthew because Matthew is gonna probably replace Vallis and uh, we don't need to see him disposed of at this point um Red Hat says, don't forget a quarantine room that you don't install vents on. I sometimes put vents in them. This could be a good quarantine room here. Um, back here could be a good quarantine room, I suppose. I kind of completely forget what we had talked about. I think this will be the quarantine room, isn't it? Oh, I wanted another grow chamber, too, though. All right, where's the hallway that goes in here? Right there. Okay, so let's get a quarantine chamber here. And what do we need for that? Ugh. The green screen has caused more problems. There we are. We're back. The sun has gone away, so now it's working again. Okay. Quarantine room. Let's go. Let's put some... Oh, okay, these are only one by, so we can't get lots of windows here anyway. We'll put a window there. We're going to start by putting our windows... Then we're going to start by placing a wall here. And I believe... Eh, eh, no! Edit, sketch... Yes, this is good, this is good. Okay, so this is kind of our initial build into our quarantine chamber. And then I'd love it like a grow room here. So let's keep this fairly thin. I think the best thing to do at this, play, at this point is build... And then ask for forgiveness later. Like, build and then figure out how to make it better. There's sun in Canada? Yeah, absolutely there's sun in Canada. And it should not come out where we live. 
I think this is a good lighting for me, for my face. A big window wall, like right there, maybe. For natural happiness. This actually might already be too small. Okay, so what do we need? What do we need? <laughs> maybe this. Maybe we can't get a window here. We don't need a window there. I'd like it, but and I want to go small hall windows because I just like the aesthetic. Like that, I think. How's that gonna look? Yeah, I think that'll look cool. Put a thermo right there. All right, so this area here I think should be our sort of like production facility. So this is where we're gonna have our oxygen. All right, right there. Excuse me, I said right there, thank you. So then you walk in, there's a wall here then. Or maybe there's the wall. Maybe we do a double door just because it's fun. And it doesn't take up too much space. Uh, actually, we could put something right there though. But what do we need? We need a gas scrubber, I assume. Can we put a water evaporator there? What's it called? Water collector? Can't we put it there? Oh, we can! Oh, very cool. Okay, we're going to put a water collector there just because. Remember, O2, if no vent, so don't suffocate. Loads forget. Loads when forget open vents. What, Sulaco? Also, welcome back to membership, by the way. You got gifted a membership. I assume you knew that. Uh, okay, this could work here. I'm going to keep a double door here. Although, what else single thing could we put there? Like, I don't think we need a spacesuit locker. Doesn't really fit in here. But this is like a pretty compact... His quarantine rooms always turn into death rooms. <laughs> shh, 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 don't tell them. We could put an ISP dispenser in here, just because, like, it's interesting. All right. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so you know it's design time when his head tilt starts. Yeah, I'm doing the head tilt again. I understand. What if we move this? I swear I'm not doing that on purpose. I'm going to move it. I don't know if we need a single other thing in there, but we can probably put, like, a thermo or something. Because then maybe we get a bed in here. I heard that noise. Sometimes when you hear that noise, it's like somebody's taking damage. Yo, this uh, isolation chamber got small. <laughs> That's true, Sulaco. I killed loads when I closed vents for a fire once, and I think about 10 prisoners died. Yeah, especially if you lock the doors, then they can't go and get safety. So, uh, let's go chair in the corner. Let's go food. Algae dispenser. You know what? We could also just call this a refugee center for now. I don't know how we get the beds in here. He has to lean his head to keep the green screen up. <laughs> Roasted. All right, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking... We buy a bit of space here. We purchase some more land, if you will. So we do something like this, maybe. Uh, what do I need? I need a 2x2. Two two, hands of blue. Facility. Although they do need a med bed, don't they, as well? When that's even more of a negative. Okay, what can I do for, like, grow chambers in here? Because I don't think I can do much else. Yeah, we'll do grow a row of grow chambers. So this is, like, yeah, this is how big our isolation chamber is going to be. The only problem with this is it's very big. It's a, it's quite a large amount of space uh, for an isolation chamber. I imagine some other folks will just, like, live in it for now or something. could keep this here. Oh yeah, we yeah, we want to keep that there because we want a hallway entrance to it. It needs a turlet too, right, of course. Quarantine rooms need a good kitchen to keep no. <laughs> There's no food in the good kitchen, remember? So then I can put a wall here. Ah oh, crap, I need to go one more up. So we can't have a double door.
It's going to be an interesting, if not a little compact room. The problem is the medical bed is pretty critical. I really wanted a spot for a medical bed, but I, you, I need a turlet. Uh, can I get a turlet in here, maybe? Like, do we need a gas scrubber? Oh. Wasn't I searching toilet? Come on. Let's go right there. Okay, uh, oops, uh, what about this? Moves here. Medical bed right in here. And, uh, mm -mm, uh, bunk, bunk bed? Yeah, that's what they're called. Right there, maybe bedside table. One of these. Door with a window. Woo! This is a compact little area. I think this is working. So I've got a toilet, medical bed. Uh, we don't have storage in here. We could try to get some storage here, and then that could hold on to IV so they can supply their IV to their own bed. Then I think we need to do a... We could do a full kitchen, I guess, but the problem is I'm just not going to be able to supply it. So I'm going to do one of these kitchens. Okay. Then they need some fun stuff to do. Facility. Let's get them a jukebox. A white noise generator could be good. <laughs> They've got one table here. So we'll probably need to give them another one. And I think we can go chair, chair. See, RG, this is why we want more RGs in chat, all right? Honestly, your compact build design shows great problem-solving skills. Thank you. You know what, RG? Thank you. But watch, he's going to be like, for a loser, <laughs> he's going to get me. I know it's coming. <laughs> Can't put that there. We can put this here, though. That's not a bad spot. That's an okay spot. There, that kind of looks interesting. That's a lot of light for our city ship, though, but anyway. And we should put a light in here. Don't forget wall heaters. Yes, absolutely. Good call. I'm going to put one. Oh, we can't yet because it's not built. But we'll put a light in there. Can I do floor lights? They're not going to let me. I can put a floor light right there, I guess. That's dumb. All right. Thermo. You know what? You're going to have to remind me to put them on because none of the walls are built yet. And I, don't, I, I like the lights there. I prefer the lights there. We'll get one thermo in there for now. But somebody remind me we need thermal generators. But this isn't bad. This worked. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Decorations. Green wall. Yeah, we gotta wait. We gotta wait to build it, I think. Yeah, I lost my scrubber and, and uh, water collector, but I don't know that I need them. And then the dream here, right, is this. Da-da-da-da. Da 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 da. Bingo, bango, another grow chamber. An espresso machine. We're not savages. <laughs> Again, this is just a, de a decon chamber. Now, that being said, I, we don't need this little hallway, actually. But it looks cool. It looks like a cool entrance and it creates more isolation. But we don't need it. And if we get rid of it, then I can have my gas scrubber and probably the water collector as well. Potentially. Yeah, but the, exactly, the hallway looks cool. And I don't think I need... We don't need a water collector. And I don't think I need a gas scrubber, but we should probably get a gas uh, a scrubber in the area, at least. We could also convert... Okay, so I'm gonna, I want to build more housing down here. So I could move this, and we can convert this into a supply closet right here. Although, I won't be able to put it behind a door. So we'll have to move this spacesuit locker elsewhere. But we can figure all that out. 
Oh, actually, yeah, we turn this into a supply closet. Exactly, that's what we do. So, here's what's going to happen. We take this wall, we move it aside. So, it's a one-door supply closet with a uh, gas scrubber in it. And that's vent right there. Maybe a vent behind it or something. Then, in by moving this hallway, we put this in the hallway right here at the end. The spacesuit locker. So, that's always available for if anybody in this area uh, gets injured. In the meantime, while this is... Yes, this is an isolation chamber. This can also become a refugee space. So we'll, we'll have it do double duty so it's not entirely unused. Then in here, we go... Uh, yes, okay, good. Grow chambers. Uh, we're going to go grow beds, and we're going to go like so. Well, let's see. Let's see if we start here, what we get. Grow bed. Grow bed. Grow bed. Grow bed. The door can be anywhere. In fact, it can be a double door. <laughs> then, do we want a double door? Do we care about double doors being here? It doesn't really make sense to have a double door right here. Oh, but there's one there, so yeah, it looks it looks better. Then, we go here, and we go vent. Right there. And then that's going to connect our CO2 producers together. And then we're going to go ahead and delete all these because we don't have the money. And then we go ahead and we get some more two-by windows. Does this wreck their sleep if I put a two-by there? Hopefully not. There we are. Oh, heck yeah. This ship's coming together, dude. That's awesome. I need 20 to 30 in for blocks. Good call. Let's see if they have any. Eight. Um, and the thing is, I'm not worried about money. 14,000 to glue. I'm not even going to try to do trades right now. We don't have time for that business. We're rich. We'll make more money. Especially because we're moving into the all piracy all the time phase of our careers. Give me some soft blocks. I think we need some soft blocks. Don't vent the grow rooms. If one gets hit by an asteroid, you'll lose both. Yeah, but this grow room doesn't have a CO2 produced. But it also is, I don't think it's necessary. I mean, it's sitting at 0% right now, utilization. But I'm sure it pops up every so often. 5%, 10%. It, I just, yeah, because uh, it always says CO2 optimal. I've never seen it say CO2 not optimal, except for the times when it's currently burning. Okay, now, what are we growing here? We got veggies, we got fruits, we've got root vegetables, and nuts and seeds, fibers, fiber. Okay, we need uh, nuts and seeds. And we're going to start feeding people properly around. I mean, we could... Okay, so we could... <laughs> RG... <laughs> okay, so Emma's like, don't vent the grow rooms because fire will spread. RG poses the very good question. Can't he close the vents? I mean, he won't, but he could. <laughs> that hurt in all the right ways. That was, it's, a, it's a good point that's been made. Give me a couple more soft blocks. How many do I have? I have 19. Don't give me more soft blocks. Uh, give me some... I'm going to buy this infra scrap. That's what I'm going to do. Now, this is all on sale, it looks to be. Uh, buy some space food. That's real cheap. Let's buy some more space food. Let's make sure... It's, yeah, yeah, like you said. Let's get through their Ar Armenias? Armenias? Anemias. <laughs> so that they can, uh, you know, just work a bit harder. Because they're just like... Oh, they're so weak and stupid. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Don't we have some human meat? I can sell you some human meat. Whatever. Okay. There we go. This has been a very lucrative uh, situation for us. My goodness. This has worked out great. Oh, we got some infra blocks over here. We got a bunch of weapons and bodies, androids that we're going to sell, probably. This is coming together. Now, on to more things, more pressing matters over here. We have a little bit more sketching to do before we can start thinking about this. But like I said, I feel like I want to do a prison uh, situation where all the rooms are down little, like similar to this, basically. I kind of want this, but like bunks. All bunks. And more sad. This isn't sad enough. Maybe we could consider roomier accommodations for our crew or something. But right now, this is what we're going to have. And I'm going to build another block of housing right here. Uh, so that's going to look really cool. And then I want to do the same thing here where it's like housing cells. And they each have doors. Like doors galore, right? And then a uh, common area for them all. But it's very, it's more flat. And then maybe in the center is our enslavement facility. But also a, uh, 
a facility to deal with them if they get a bit rowdy. A lot of door control so that I can just pause the game and then like lock down the prison so movement stops. Right now everybody's hanging out in one common area. I might change this so there's actually like three or four little common areas all with doors. So you can just lock down the spread of people. Then you have doors on each of those that go out into a hallway or a processing hall, basically. And that's where our troops can enter, prep, and then go into each uh, uh, common area and clear it out if and when an uprising happens. And I feel like just based on what we're looking at, the patrons and the prisoners should probably be stuck together. Yeah, the patrons and prisoners are stuck together because I don't want to, I don't know, make a whole other thing out of it. <laughs> and the android's coming. Now, now, let's calm down, everyone. This android ship is armed more or less to the teeth. We don't have the shields to accommodate this situation. Could get another auto turret, though. We could put an auto turret right there. What if we just had so many auto turrets? Uh, how many system points do they take? One. We could just have 2,000 of these bad boys. I'm going to put another one here. Where's my power coverage, though? I know I have a power thing somewhere. I mean, they're, they're not going to get built by the time this attack comes. I understand that. I'm going to put you down here for now. Try to get some more auto turrets going on, because these guys are armed to the teeth. And this is going to be our uh, crowning achievement, if we can take them out. Um, so that's turrets, though. We still have 2,500 hull capacity, and our shields continue, because we build more, so our shields continue to become useless. Saul has the Aurora Borealis. Yeah, because the sun comes. It's a whole thing, you know? Okay, laser weapons. Where's my shield? We do need to be a yeah, shield generator. We need, we need to get a proper shield now. It's we're, we're getting into the thick of it. Green screen issues solid started when Solid lost his headset ears. You, you make a good point. You make a good point. Uh, complaining. No access to food. Yeah, we're going to fix this. It's going to get a little better for you guys eventually. But not if you're going to keep causing fires. Vampy goes to hang out, which is probably working on Matthew. No no chance to convert, though. Are you using a shiny green screen? It's a bit shiny, yeah. It's also, it's just the, it's the, uh, it's color mixing, right? So my green isn't staying the green that it needs to be because outside, if you want to get into it, outside we have some siding and it's a bit yellow. So that's reflecting back through the windows and it's paling up the green a little bit. And then my, uh, my, this light here that I have is set to pretty cold, like day, daylight temperature, but that's now that's mixing the color. And then we also have a chandelier that's warm. What happens if I turn this warm one on? That made it worse. So supplying more light doesn't really help. Turn this off. Yeah, there we go. Don't really need the light when the sun is out. Harry Potter wants his cloak back. I know. Like, what's the point? Well, I think that's why uh, real streamers have like all a bunch of different rooms or something. Can we make that a high construction priority? I'd love to get one more up. We're gonna leave this on a cliffhanger, though. I'm telling you, we might have to jump. I'm gonna save this. This is where we're. <laughs> this is where we're gonna come back to. Looks a bit like the Matrix now. Yeah, this is Matrix code. Yeah, these androids are upset. Will we take them down? We will find out in the next episode. Yeah, I knew these were the arm to the teeth ones. Ugh, this is going to be tough. 384 shields. Oh, we should have gotten ready. <laughs> 384 shields. We could go over there and deal with them, but like this is a large, this is a spicy ship. This is what Hein's talking about when these ships attack. We are definitely outgunned. I think we're going to have to jet. A disco ball would diffuse the light, yeah. You're not wrong with that. Oh, I'm just building a window, okay. Uh, right. 
just want to okay. just wanted to uh yeah, or here. Emery undraft. Oops. Uh, Asan. You're there, so just keep finishing. Thank you. Okay. Team one. Draft. Get over here. Naomi. Undraft. Alright, they're working through our hull now. I'm probably gonna... <laughs> this is... This will end in a saves come. <laughs> this is the cliffhanger. This is how we're going to attempt to deal with this. What's that one? Oh, my goodness. Why are they so accurate? That's not fair. Why do they get to be that accurate? So this is what Hein's talking about, by the way. Yeah, it's easily got 10+. plus. <laughs> Sulaco, ooh la la, solid as a chandelier. It's true, I do. I should be stopping, I should eat lunch. I don't know where their control center is, but I imagine it's up front. It is. There's Kenneth. spike these guns. Okay, Black Widow, get back. Oh, Black Widow's down. Down for the count. <laughs> Chat's going nuts. I just, you could tell that I was like, hang on a minute. Grampy, wake up. <laughs> uh, turrets, stop firing. Don't care. Don't care about the turrets right now. Hang on a minute. I got bad news for you guys. This is going to be the cliffhanger. <laughs> Oh, Anya's coming in. And Discorus. Let's go here. Dulce, pull back. Into a better position. Nihal, you also pull back a little bit. There we are. Stay stacked. Yep. Anya, Anya. Focus on Anya. Okay, don't shoot at the freaking robot. <laughs> oh, I, th oh I, th I thought this robot had a, it's holding a gun. It's it's delivering a gun. I thought it was, I thought it had picked up a gun. You guys stay put. Black Widow, yeah, you don't move. This is, okay. I'm surprising myself with how good I am. <laughs> oh, Discorus. Okay, this could be bad. And yet it wasn't. Holy crap. The Stranded Sword of Allah, hello, welcome. It's a cool name. I don't 100% know what it means. Careful. Wow, they've got a lot of bots. Break right. Move out. This might be the only person left, potentially. We can't lose anybody because we can't save scum this. 
That was huge. <laughs> that was huge. That was sick. I surprised I surprised myself. No, oh, I can't get it to play. Okay. I really wanted to play my... Okay, hang on. I was a pro gamer. It's a pro gamer move. We give up. That's what I'm talking about. No, don't, Emma. No, don't. Five minute adventure in and out. I know. Now it's ten after, but we shall take them prisoner. We've got a lot of offline work to do. My goodness. Goodbye. And... Solid content there, you pricks. <laughs> uh, okay, well, unfortunately, uh, playing those uh, pieces, I don't know if you guys can still hear me be because I've lost audio uh, on my desktop. I can still hear my own ears, but that's just something that happens with these stupid headphones, uh, the audio interface, and playing stuff on OBS, so hopefully you can still hear me. That was quite a credit where credit is due. I'll take the credit for that. But, I mean, really, it was their fault. They they didn't put up a big defense here. If you had six people on me when I boarded, we were screwed. And they had t some to spare. But the fact is, I boarded. There were two people here who gave up too quickly. And that gave me access through to their command center, at which point I uh, scuttled their guns. I don't think that's what you call them. You spike guns, you scuttle the ship. Black Widow, draft. Okay, go search this room. This is a big old ship. This hall might be nuts. Okay, undraft all, but here's what we're going to do, folks. We're going to go and get you uh, drafted, Roxanne. Draft. Follow me. Follow me. Let's go get on that ship and bring our prisoners home. We just have to micro that sometimes. Okay. Let's get ready. Let's take a look at the hall. Can you build your own ships in this game, says Stranded? You absolutely can. Uh, this is mine. This is the design so far. <laughs> I'm telling you, Stranded a Sword of Allah, you're going to want to get this game. Anyway, and this is the design we're going to do. It's a city ship. It's going to have a, a big uh, uh, slave's quarters here, but we're calling them patrons because they do, they want to join us. They just don't know that they want to yet. And then this area here is going to be like a grand uh, sort of temple slash area where we deal with our patrons. We're getting culty with it. We're getting evil with this run. And uh, you are welcome to subscribe, of course, Stranded Son of Allah. Just subscribe. And you're welcome to watch. Ready to see the hall? Let's see the hall. Three hull blocks. Five and five of both fuels. Eight energy rods, which is great. We're not even going to think about energy rods for the rest of the time. Decent food hull. IV, no medicine, but it suggests that there is some medicine locked up somewhere. Greg says you can build ships. We're just not sure what Solid is making. I'm I'm cre I'm creating an asymmetrical, interesting-looking ship. Okay, that Emma thinks Beans designed, which is my baby, who, who designed it a year ago when he was zero. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Legacy's bought rubble. Okay, well we can do stuff with that. Uh, six SMGs. Those will fetch a high price on the market. Honestly, the hull is fine. You'd expect on a bigger ship, you'd expect more Quantronics components, maybe. Plastic would be nice. Um, but it is what it is. Or I wish we could. Oh, you I mean no? We'll dis we'll dismantle all these, and that will help us. But we have a lot of. I've never been able to build these darn things, and I love them. I love them. Okay, uh, let's scavenge the energy scrap so that those motors stop running we get a couple more energy bars out of them maybe you heard me motors and energy bars yes i could use the real words but i don't remember all the real words okay solid contact there you pricks all right that's what you get i was i thought that was gonna i was gonna cliffhanger that but uh, that went delightfully so folks i hope you found that to be a very solid day i certainly did uh, build another recycler. That's a lot of scrap in that ship. Yeah, good idea. I think what we need to work on next episode, we'll keep doing this building. Again, I say this all the time and I might be able to, is like offline uh, grind out all the crap on this ship so we can leave. Uh, but essentially, I want to start building our prison system here. What I'd like to do really is get myself yeah, my engine room, make sure that's sorted. 
uh, so there's room for a couple more engines in here. Then build, we're going to build it in segments, right? So we build one prison segment here, and then we'll carry that concept on as we build more hull. That way, we can move all these prisoners out of this area, and then scrap all this and start getting some proper, um, you know, uh, resource production chains going over here. So that's kind of the dream for next episode, is to kind of work on this area. Uh, and, of course, take more people down. And, of course, get all the pieces needed uh, to finish this and build out this very cool little... Uh, this is one of the, the rooms I'm happier with, to be honest, because it's not... I just don't like things when they're built in squares, like this and this room are boring to me. This one, interesting to me. I like it. Looks cool near the circle as well. This city ship is going to be sweet. I think we're going to like all this. We're going to have the, you know, very dis you know, districty. That's what I wanted in this city ship. I want it to be a bit of a maze, uh, too, and I believe I'm getting my wishes. So, like I said, I, uh, I hope you, uh, I hope you found it to be solid. You didn't move once in this stream. Who didn't? Me? You can disassemble the Android carves to get Quantronics. Oh, I didn't know that. That's good to know. You didn't move. Oh, I yeah, you're right, Emma. That's I didn't move once from this sector. The entire this entire sector drained right into here, into this space station. The space station is probably like little oh, bully. These two stations, they're stoked because when I leave, they can come in and get whatever scraps are remaining. Spoiler alert: there will be none. And then. Uh, uh, and then they'll, you know, and then this, like, little, you know, maybe they'll build more space stations out here. So you'll, they'll use whatever's left to add to theirs. So that's, you know, it's an ecosystem. I've done a whale fall. That's what I've done. And that's what you call this episode, whale fall. <laughs> anyway, we're going to try to move on in the next episode and, like, finish some missions or something. I'm not even sure. we got to keep exploring. Now we're at war with uh, so many people. So, like I said, industry, uh, patron area, more stuff over here next episode. Loved it. And you know what? You, maybe you guys inspired me to stream. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I nailed this episode, RG, because you were back. And because Emma keeps me honest, let's be honest. All right, guys. <laughs> you have yourself a wonderful time. I will most likely see you all on Wednesday for more of the same. But also some offline stuff at some point. Bye. Bam, bam, bam.